Hello, I'm back to Black Whisper Crafts, and I am doing another play along video for hashtag Base Pages PT, hosted by Jessica at Paper Terrace. And I already did my decorating my pockets video and pockets or envelopes, either or, and I missed this one. This is a pocket and it is an envelope that I glued straight down on the page. So I am going to make this video so I can get this one decorated. I received this awesome spiderweb paper pad for my birthday this year. It was at the end of June from Misty at Mystical Misty One, and I will put her channel below so you can go check her out. But I really love these. And you have supplies to use them, not hoard them, right? <laughs> I put this in my special drawer, but I'm like, I need to use these. I love them, but I need to use them. So I'm going to use these. If I can get pulled out here because I need it to be intact. I really like it when these little papers come in a pad. They're so much easier to keep nice. So they don't get dog-eared and everything. That'll be fine do that and this is what it looks like so cool I really like it just so back style but what I want to do is just put it straight down on that but I'm going to use red around the edges just in case there's any of the white edges that try to peek through just, oh you can even see some of it so that's nice you can see some of the red on it Really good. Oh, I'm going to just put a little bit more red. I think that looks really nice. I like the red. That looks cool. There, I like that. Let's get this glued down. I think I will use a glue stick in the middle. <laughs> That's a really strong glue stick make sure I have my picture going the right direction. Like that or like this? I'm pretty sure it goes like that. Okay. I'm good at gluing things on upside down. I'm sure I'm the only one who does that. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to put art glitter glue around the edges. Get this glued down. Just a little bit of glue on the edges there. Just enough to hold it in place. Doesn't take much. There. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna, I keep saying that. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> that is so funny. Just put it right below where the lip of that envelope opens up. That way you can notice it, that it opens up. really nice it's so cool it's perfect size for this envelope I really like it gorgeous and I put that there so I would remember that is a pocket so I will put something in it it's really cute I think I want to use my roses stamp and see if we can get some roses on the top there it's more color going on a little bit there let's see this poor old stamp used and reused. Let's see what we think right there. That's good. Like that. Let's get about right there. That looks really nice too. I like that. Let's put a little bit just kind of right there and right there. That looks really good. Yes, I did get a little on the other page, but I'm not fussed about that get this lid back on here. I think that turned out nicely. And I think I want to take some of this. It is called Worn Penny Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. Worn Penny. And I'm just going to do a little around these 
this border here just to gussy up the page a bit. I can do a lot with just a little teeny tiny bit of paint. Let's see. A little bit on there. Might need a little more paint. There, there we go. A little bit on those edges. Okay, now put a little bit here just to tie it all in. I think this will work out nicely. I love to use paint that dries fast. Just really, really brings a page to life. See, I have just enough to go right in there. There we go. Then I swirl it around in case there are some big blobs that would just kind of blend them all in. Love this fan brush. There. I think that turned out nicely. I really like that. Now I think I'm going to, since I have plenty of time with this video, we're going to make a tag to go in that pocket. Got this out. I think this scrap will work nicely. That's really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and trim it down just a bit on the sides, about to there. this way since there are words on it a little easier to get it sort of straight not too fussed if it's not pop this back up in the scraps that will look really nice and I have the scrap here that's not going to work out is it we need a different one let's see what we can come up with here nope nope and nope just need a scrap of, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. This will work. I think this is, yes, this is a packing paper. This will work. just want to cover the back of it so you can journal on it. Find the end of it. Here it is. Okay, let's just roughly cut a piece here. Crinkly, crinkly. There, that was loud. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Things can get really loud. I just want enough of a piece to go about right there. I like those edges to show. So let's just. There we have a cut mark. Let's just trim this. I mean, cut it to size. Thereabouts. I love to use packing paper to back things because you don't have to ink it. It's already brown. Okay, I'm going to cut that to make it a tag. So let's trim this down here. Just about right here. that it's not completely straight. I think that will work out good. I like that. Let's see, do we want some, um, do we want roses down here? I think that might be nice if we do roses down there. That'll be pretty. I do want to um, ink this up on the edges. Oops, there went my paper. Hold on. There we go. Ink this up first so it will already be done before I glue that on. Just a little bit of red. Edges here. 
I am going to cut this to be a tag, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to glue this here. And let's just... Take these little corners off. Just make it a wide top tag. Flip that over and turn this off. There, that works. That way when we get this inked up, it will all be inked up, but we won't have to go back. There we go, I think that looks good. I like that. And I think this needs to be inked up too. Just a little bit. Just to make it all kind of blend in together. That looks good. Okay, now what we want to do is stamp this rose just about right there. I think that will look nice. But since this is gluing on top of that, we can stamp right here and that will be just fine. There, that looks pretty. Then we have plenty of space to journal. I like that. Okay, let's glue this down. Uh, we'll do the glue stick. most part here. Just pop it around the edges real quick here. Just takes a moment. And you know what? That is, isn't it? Yes, it is. That is embossed. So we better put some art glitter glue because this is not going to stick with just the glue stick. The glue stick won't hold it on top of that glossy uh, embossed type. That's okay. We'll get it on there. There we go. That's a rose. It goes to the bottom. There we go. That worked out nicely. Now we have a journal spot. I like that. Turn it over and smoosh it down. Okay, let's get some red on these edges here. Just a little bit. That's very nice. And I have a picture. Here it is. I think that would look really cute right here. What we need is to do some get some red I think the red is working out really well for us on this project Ooh, that was really red on the white <laughs> that's fine that's okay it works out fine and what I want to do on the center keep the red out for a moment I am going to use the vintage photo to make it appear to be a vintage photo just a little bit. You know what? We could make this into a pocket too. These are big enough. We could just glue the sides and that can be a pocket also. Yeah, let's do that. That's fun. Okay. How about we do some red on the flowers? make it look like those are red roses. They may not be red roses, but they're going to be red flowers today. That's pretty. There we go. And she's got some in her hair. Just a little bit there. Okay. We are ready to glue this down. Okay. I'm going to hold it where I don't want to glue the top. Yeah, that'll make another nice little pocket. You can put just a little note in there nobody would be the wiser that it's actually a pocket. How fun. Okay, I'm going to 
put it pretty far down here since it's going to be a pocket also. That way there's plenty of space to put something in and out of the pocket. Get that smashed down. There, that looks really cool. I like that. And let's just see if there's any more of this copper on here. Let's just, nope, nope, it's dried up. <laughs> I just was going to try and see if there was any left. There's not. I just like to use up all my paint. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, wait a minute. We have some music or something. We can just tuck a little piece of music down in here. That might be nice. Let's see how small do they need to be? Pretty small. Let's just get this folded and we'll tuck this down in there. nice. There we go. There. Little pocket there. Hi, Copper. Hi. Did you just wake up? Hi, baby. <laughs> You're so loud. You scared me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, let's just put this on here. We'll just staple it on. Uh, let's see. Do we want? Do we need to use these copper staples? I think so. I don't think the tiny attacher will hold this. We'll do one on each side. That was pretty bad. Okay. Let me get this staple out, and we will go at it again. I don't have my staple puller over here, but this will work. There we go. Just work with it. That is a good staple. <laughs> it was not wanting to come out of there. Oh my, okay. Let's try this again actually stays better when you staple it. Make sure that this is here. It stays better if you get the staple on all of the material. Let me try this again. There, that's much better much better. Okay. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and put another one in there just to make sure. Okay. I like that. I love those copper staples. That turned out really pretty. I like that. We have a pocket in there and we have journal spot on the back. I'm going to just tuck it in here. like that. That looks nice. And then we still have a pocket here. Do we have anything to pop in that pocket right offhand? I don't think I do. Hmm. Let me think here real quick. I'm looking. I think I have one. Give me just a second here. This is a pretty tag that might fit in it. It does. And there's a journal spot in the back. I think that'll fit in there. Yeah, that'll fit in there nicely. There. That looks cute. I like that. That will work. And this is for hashtag base pages PT, which is hosted by Jessica at Paper Terrace. And this is a pocket an envelope and a pocket and I'm just decorating it because I forgot to decorate it when I was doing all of the other ones and I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.